Hello everyone, uh, this is for those who like to use VirtualBox in uh, Linux or uh, Windows. Um, if you want to add some additional hard drive space, say if you want to move the swap file over just to free up some space, all you have to do is go to settings of your existing uh, OS, Virtual OS, go to IDE controller and click add to hard drive, create a new disk, Next, next, and in this case, I'm just going to give it uh, one gigabyte, and I'll browse to another hard drive that I use, and we'll just call it, uh, you can call it anything, I'll just call it store, storage, and save, and okay, and then next, and then finish, and then OK. Once that's ready, you start uh, your virtual OS, in this case Windows XP. Okay, this seems to be going slow. I'll pause this and uh, be back when this loads up. Okay, um, now if you open computer, uh, you won't see it yet. So what you have to do is right click on uh, my computer, either on the desktop or in the start menu, and select manage, disk management. Then the wizard pops up to initialize a new disk. And yes, it's disk one. If you see it's here, it's not initialized. Next, I don't want to convert. Okay, so just ignore the convert to something, and I want a um, new partition. Primary is fine. That's fine. Leave everything default. Drive letter is fine. I'm gonna. Um, put it to FAT32. Um, I'll just call it uh, swap and perform a quick format. And then we're done. Now we have extra hard drive space. You open computer, you can see you have swap. Okay, the next thing to do is go back to computer, right click on properties, advanced, settings, advanced again and down at the bottom virtual memory we want to change that and uh, this is a little tricky at first you have to go down to the, the uh, radio buttons or the circles here and select no page file no paging file so hit set okay windows gives you a warning that you have to restart apply okay okay and then say yes to restart And while that's uh, doing its reboot, I'll uh, pause for a sec. Okay, so uh, now that we've restarted, uh, you can go to Control Panel, uh, Folder Options, View, and just to make sure that the page file is no longer on, we're going to unhide protected operating system files. And just select Yes, Apply, OK. Now go to, you can go to Computer, quickest way, I guess and it's not there you, you would see a page file so computer properties advanced settings advanced change the swap file now we'll go back here virtual memory and in this case I'm going to use 768 by 768 and you hit set and press OK, OK, OK. Now go back to the computer. And with the system files unhidden, you can see the page files right there. And that's about it. And you can also do the same thing if you wanted to uh, move your documents or pictures or music or whatever to, uh, you know, to free up some hard drive space on the main drive. You can do that.
no problem. So I hope this was uh, helpful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. And uh, as always, take care. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Bye for now.